Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are live. Welcome to another System 90 Hangout, sponsored by www.system90.com. My name is Rex Harris. With me this evening, as always, my esteemed colleague, Mr. Lavelle Moore, who had a banner day today. Nice job in the business today, bro. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Thank and, you. Uh, you know, we want to give uh, recognition and credit where credit is due. Now, that was from some uh, local offline uh, marketing and connections, correct, Lavelle? Uh, that's correct. Um, um, I used to, uh, you know, hang with these guys, and and uh, from time to time, you know, the, you know, you see people, and uh, you catch up on life and, you know, what's happening. And so... <laughs> People and uh, what I was doing, and uh, they they said awesome, and they really really liked the story, and uh, you know I shot them to my capture page, put them in front of some information, and they, they gave me a call and said, look, I want to do what you're doing, so uh, you know I, I, I pointed them to uh, the join and uh, uh, site so they could sign up immediately. <laughs> I said, well, look, I tell you what, I'm going to come over and just, uh, you know, fellowship with you all and uh, just kind of um, share with you what we do. And, uh, you know, that was it. It was uh, cream cheese. They were just very, very happy and excited. I feel like a bass fisherman uh, on a, on a, when they catch the uh, five. <laughs> I love it. I fish limit. I feel like a bass fisherman at a tournament when they bring in a five fish limit. Uh, you know, to the weigh-in. So right, I'm just dude. really, really excited. I bet. Nicely done, brother. I'm proud of you. Congratulations. So um, tonight we're going to focus on some mindset stuff tonight. Reason being um, we have a lot of mechanical training that's going to start coming out through the blog tomorrow as we develop this out to show you guys how to have an automated foundation to this because the one thing that that I have learned recently is, is that uh, as an internet marketer one of the best things that you can do for yourself is have an automated marketing system so you have that foundation to build on. Um, it, this is not a complicated thing to do and uh, as we've come to find out um, it's not near as expensive to get involved with paid advertising the correct way um, that you know, that most people believe it is. A lot of people have led, been led to believe it's complicated. You've got to learn all this stuff, and you you got to learn how to write effective ad copy, and yada yada. Well, all of those things are true, okay. But the truth of the matter is this: I know there are people in this industry spending a lot of money on different things, okay. Whether it's it's uh, social submitters or social aggregators or tools and resources and everything else. The bottom line is this, when you've got a solid traffic funnel that's based on a compelling story, okay, you can buy advertising, get a phenomenal amount of opt-ins and generate sales on autopilot and that's one of the things that um, we're really going to be focusing on right now because this is what everybody wants, it's what everybody's wanted forever, it's what I've wanted forever. The difference is now we know how to do it. So that's why we are doing what we're doing right now and getting away from a lot of this other stuff that we've been doing because the truth of the matter is it just takes too much time to do a lot of that stuff and you can actually do everything congruently where everything is flowing together and legitimately run a five figure or more monthly business from home on part time hours two to four hours a day depending on how much time you want to spend online sometimes less you know so th there's there, there's a really great formula to follow with this and this is what we're committed to bringing to you guys uh, right now for multiple reasons uh, for, you know one of which is I really want to have an automated system too so I can have more free time because the more automated things are the less time I've got to spend on the internet I mean I've always got my phone with me anyway so I mean these things are you know I mean is is amazing as I mean I, I, I haven't had as, I have I, I have computers that aren't as cool as this phone is you know as far as far as what it can do and I mean it's it's just amazing so uh, and that's where a lot of things are headed right now anyway but aside from all the mechanics we're gonna get into all of that stuff you're gonna see it coming through the blog you're gonna see it coming through hangouts next week um, 
I'm going to talk about mindset this evening because I've had the opportunity to talk with a lot of people over the last couple of weeks. And one of my passions in life is to be able to share what I have learned so others can glean from that and perhaps have their breakthrough as well. I had that conversation with my uh, mentor Darren Little the other day. Earlier this year, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to share a story with you guys tonight. Earlier this year, we were on the road. I don't remember for sure where we were going. We might have been on our way back to Kentucky. I don't remember for sure. But we were on the Florida Turnpike one evening, and I forget what it was I was reading that night, but it was it it was something had had a profound um, impact on me uh, through the course of that reading, and I was in a pretty spiritually emotional state that night, just uh, you know, just working through the process of of of, of breaking down barriers and my phone rang uh, right around that same time where you know I was I was having that uh just having this moment of clarity I guess you would call it whatever it was and it was a friend of mine from Fort Lauderdale Florida who sent me a link to a 10 minute audio clip from a book that was written by a woman named Florence Scovel Shin long long time ago and when I listened to that audio that night I was um, I was excited and terrified at the same time because the premise of this audio called the word is your wand suggested that I could actually speak my reality into manifestation here and whatever this is in this this reality I guess you would call it but I could literally speak what I wanted and it would come forth and there's a lot of times in life where we believe that we want the secret that we want the answers that we're ready to receive such a thing but it's interesting that I would receive that video and actually listen to it be motivated by it think it's very cool and then put it back down and away and out of my thought processes for a while. Well, interestingly enough, that video ended up showing up again, coming up again. It's actually an audio clip, but it's on YouTube. It's called uh, The Word is Your Wand. I uh, highly recommend it. And... In, in listening to it this time, I started to act on what was being said, what was being taught. And I saw a significant shift take place in the way that I think over the course of a couple of days. As a matter of fact, I actually ended up having a very strange dream in the process of this. I went through a, uh, a, a new process of surrender. Um, pretty remarkable uh, a series of events based on what I was reading here in these things that I was speaking. Well, in the course of speaking these things, what happened was that there were some things that were lingering that because of the fact that I'm speaking truth and life into myself anymore, they can't linger around anymore. So things got kind of weird for um, several weeks. 
um, twitching toes, twitching eyes, and some other manifestations that I'm just not going to share with you here this evening because you wouldn't believe me, most likely if I shared them with you anyway. But nonetheless, you know, I, we, we saw some pretty remarkable things happen. Uh, my wife, too, as we began to embrace this. And one of the things that we began to embrace was every time that we spend money, we would say as money goes out, money immediately comes back in under grace and perfect ways. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. As money goes out, money immediately comes back in under grace and perfect ways. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And the more I studied um, Florence's work, the more I began to utilize what she teaches to formulate uh, a lot of my proclamations and incantations that I use every day in combination with a lot of that type of training that I follow from Tony Robbins as well. And what's interesting is, is that, you know, this is, this is something that everyone has access to right now. And the only criteria to, for it to work is to use it and believe and believe that you are that you that you have the power that you're worthy to use it. That's really the only criteria for using the power because you don't need to acquire it. You already have it. It's already there. Okay, it's the power of your spoken word. It's been taught in the Bible in so many different ways to include by your words you shall be justified life is in the power of the tongue that's just two examples so what then you have this information you have this knowledge why would I be talking about that this evening? Well, I'm talking about it this evening because one of the things that I'm going to be sharing as we move into this 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 arena of internet marketing that personally I've not done a lot of teaching in before because I've not used it. I've done everything organically for years, and um, I've definitely found that there there there's um, there, there's a way that you can do that you can do both at one time. You can actually leverage one with the other and create phenomenal results. I mean, I think today, Lavelle, just one little one little dip test that we did, I know uh, I know that I've, the last time I checked, I know I had, re I had 22 opt-ins on my test, and I know that you had opt-ins on your test as well. So I think out of what, the better part of, of at that point in time today, you know, uh, we put 100 clicks through one page and 100 clicks through another page. And I know out of 100 clicks on the page that I promoted, I know 25% of those people opted in. And I know which links that they clicked in the email that I sent out. We got a great response. And I went through and I took those email addresses and I copied and pasted them into Facebook today. And lo and behold, the people were real. And simultaneously we have three more people join our team today two from Lavelle's hometown and then one person who was already in Empower Network with me um, who was not active who actually uh, activated today after signing up months ago finally activated his account and I was actually just chatting with him here this evening to uh, assist him with a question on his blog And it might appear as though that one had nothing to do with the other, but at the same time they had everything to do with one another because of the fact is that when you take action, people around you take action. When you get excited and you've got a vision and you share it and people can see the light and the fire in your eyes and they see that you're running with something, they're going to want to run with that too. So anywho, to get back on track here. I, that my friend sends me this 10 minute audio clip called The Word Is Your Wand by Florence Scovel Shin. I listen to it a couple of times, put it on the back burner, and pick it up again at a point down the road where um, I'm running out of, I, I'm just running out of 
ideas in everything. I, I like I had I, I had said today in a video that I'm working on. I was at a point in my life as a full-time home business owner, coming through some of the worst, just struggles and and confusion and and uncertainty that I'd ever been through in a long time. Um, I would not be telling the truth if I said that, you know, I never thought about quitting the industry though because I had thoughts of quitting the industry um, pop up many times. Um, but I chose not to give up. I didn't give into that line of thinking and I'm glad that I didn't because I'm a firm believer in what the master key system teaches about that stuff. When you make up your mind to do something, then do it. Let nothing, let no one interfere. The thing is settled, the die is cast, and no, you know, there's there's no room for any argument. You know? Not finishing things brings about a pattern of failure in your life. And I had spent decades starting things and not finishing them that stockpiled this whole web of crap at my front door. So I was confused. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to do. I wasn't sure at that point in time what I wanted to do. Just wasn't sure. But the one thing I knew that I didn't want to do was quit because I believed, I believed for the last 15 years I can do this. And I've had some, some phenomenal success as, a, as an internet marketer over the years. I've been very fortunate and very blessed. You know, to, to start when I did back around you know, the year 2000 and have four years of just amazing financial success that we had had only to have all of that fall out from underneath us and have to start over again because the business partnership went south. So it's been, it's been, uh, it's been a roller coaster. But in getting back to that audio clip that I listened to that evening called Your Word is Your Wand, for whatever reason I finally started to realize that there was a significant amount of truth in these proclamations as Tony Robbins calls them incantations there's power in these proclamations and these incantations when you speak them there's power to transform and recondition the subconscious mind and going through this exercise, my apologies, that's my cat trying to come over here and get on camera. Are you going to come over, what, you want to come over here and say hi? Come on. Stand right over here. A little more. They can't quite see. That's behind the computer. I guess he's not going to make an appearance. Maybe you will. You going to make an appearance? All right. Come here. There you go. Thank you. In really stepping up my consistency in proclamations and beginning to formulate my own proclamations, gleaning from other proclamations that people like Florence and Tony Robbins and other personal development speakers and writers have put together for us, I just began to formulate what resonated with me and I began to speak it and proclaim it daily. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I did it that I did it every day and that I was always spot on and stuff like that because I wasn't. Okay, I wasn't consistent with it all the time. As often as I could remember to do it, I was doing it. I was I my my intention at that point in time was to was to basically, as Tony Robbins puts it, to to be in state all the time, which is something I work diligently on every day. Just more and more focus on staying in state. So what's interesting is that as I begin to follow what Florence teaches in her writings and I begin to continue the proclamations and I begin to put more feeling into them, getting, getting into the, my physiology, you know, 
God's love flows through me in avalanches of abundance. All of my needs, all of my wants, all of my desires are met instantaneously by infinite intelligence because I am one with God and God is everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I have the magic wallet of the spirit. My wallet is constantly bulging with cash, following exactly what Florence teaches in these books. And interestingly enough, the more that I did this, the more miracles started to happen. As a matter of fact, one of the biggest financial miracles I have ever seen in my life came when we were in New York City okay and it was and it wasn't that it was a, a massive number a massive amount of money because it wasn't as a matter of fact it was only I think twenty three dollars I think it was twenty three dollars but the reason that it was so miraculous is because of the fact that I was testing and trying and learning to use this and practicing it and practicing it and practicing it and I had one afternoon where I had made a financial blunder and had forgotten to transfer some money I needed to transfer on time and it was running about a day and a half behind and this was about noon on a Wednesday afternoon where I realized wow I really I, I messed I messed this up and but I just, I took the time, I went, I got into meditation, I quieted down, I began to visualize, and I focused, and I asked. I asked under grace in perfect ways for the money I needed to hit that account that afternoon, whatever it took. I got out of the way, and I just focused on seeing that happen and beginning to happen. And here's what's interesting. For the first time in over a decade of being one of probably the most satisfied customers of a company called PayPal, I'm a huge fan of PayPal, I think they're probably one of the smartest companies ever created. I went and I logged into the bank account after asking for that, that specific amount of money that afternoon. And when I logged into the bank account, to my surprise, there was a PayPal transfer in the middle of the afternoon that wasn't there at lunchtime for the exact amount of money that I needed. This was the first time in an entire decade that I had ever seen money arrive from PayPal in the middle of the afternoon, let alone a day and a half early, ever in my life, ever. And a lot of people might say, well, Rex, that's just a coincidence. No, it's, it, it's not a coincidence. It, it's the power of the spoken word. And everyone is can use this by your words you are justified life is in the power of the tongue well here's something else that I began to see was interesting is that when I began to share what was going on in regards to this book the game of life and how to play it and, and using these proclamations and speaking those things that are not as though they are as is taught in the book of Romans in the Bible We began to see some really cool stuff happen. And lo and behold, if in doing this, we didn't see door after door after door begin to open exactly as it, we had proclaimed it. And what's cool about this is the fact that the more we utilize this, the more we use these proclamations, the more we focus on getting clear and intent on exactly what it is that we want, 
the more efficiently the process works and you can literally speak your good into your reality immediately when you have the faith to back it up but this is where a lot of people struggle they don't believe it and they won't practice it and I was that person it didn't matter what I believed when I was a kid it didn't matter what I learned in the church bottom line was the fact that if there was some reason for whatever that I didn't believe this I didn't believe I was worthy to you worthy to use it I didn't believe that for a multitude of reasons that this would even work anymore but yet, here's this lady that had written these books, and here's all these personal development books in the Bible that says differently, and I'm thinking to myself, hmm, maybe we're making this way more difficult than it needs to be. I had a conversation with my mentor, Darren Little, the other day, who many of you that are watching this video right now, whether you're watching it live or recorded, you know who he is. And in the month of July, Darren Little knocked the socks off a network marketing opportunity called Explosial by generating like $17,000 in residual income last month. And what's interesting is Darren didn't do any paid advertising whatsoever. That's my cats having a little uh, rustling match there. So I'm on the phone with Darren the other day, and I ask him, you know, okay, so you're basically you're telling me that you're using Facebook chat and working groups and stuff like that. He's like, he's like, well, mechanically, yeah. But then he says, but bro, because that's what every time he always does that. But bro, I know that I've got something good coming. He says, but bro. He says it's quantum physics, man. And I said, in what reg I, I said, I, I said, in what regard is it quantum physics? I said, help me understand that. Help me understand by what what you mean by quantum physics. I said, are I, I, and based on my knowledge of quantum physics, and based on what I've studied and the research I've done, I said, I said, do you mean to tell me that every person that you put into your business last month? is there because you spoke it into being and he said yes he says that's exactly what I'm saying because here's the thing that a lot of people aren't taking into consideration when it comes to spirituality when it comes to quantum physics when it comes to utilizing the power of your word and understanding the power that you have to create the reality that you want to live in There's multiple things people overlook. I mean, the first thing that they overlook is, you know, here, here we have this, this belief in a spiritual power, but if there is an actual spiritual power, how does that actually flow? How does it move? How does it work? And a lot of people are afraid to delve into that because they think that in order to understand the way the energy moves, that they're playing God, and there's nothing, there's no truth to that whatsoever. Because the bottom line is the fact that we are, we are spiritual beings in a physical, physically manifested, palpable state. But the power of who we are is so much greater than people can even begin to imagine. And people are missing just some of the basic components when it comes to this type of thing and understanding you know that when energy moves there is going to be a way to measure that thus quantum physics because quantum physics basically shows the
way energy moves, and not only the way it moves, but the way it's the way it's utilized. And if you've never done any research on quantum physics, I would highly recommend that you go to YouTube and do some looking around on the, the, the dual slit experiment. Interesting stuff. Because, I mean, I can have a computer on my desk here and a phone in my hand here, but without electricity, there's no life. Well, that electricity, in order to bring this life, has to have a way to move. It has to have a flow. There's, there's a way that all of that current and energy moves through there and, and, and works in so many different ways to create all of these things that this one device does. One energy provides so many different components in this device here with its ability to function. The camera, the little blue light that you'll see flashing right there if you can see it. Yep, you can see it. Well folks, when it comes to spiritual energy and quantum physics, it's the same thing with our body. Our bodies have our bodies have a what a, a central nervous system where all of this electricity and energy works and flows through. We have a series of glands uh, from the top of our head to the base of our tailbone, they all work in accordance with this as well. And I know that there's a lot of people out there that when you talk like this, it makes them a little uncomfortable, but the truth is the truth. We are, we are, we are much more powerful than what most people believe that we are. And that power comes through our spoken word. Okay. Florence Scoville Shin wrote that I'm aware of. I, I think there's actually more, but I actually have a compilation from her that I picked up on Kindle. It's four of her books, uh, The Game of Life and How to Play It, The Word is Your Wand, The Power of the Spoken Word, and one other one. And I'm actually reading The Power of the Spoken Word right now because I've, I've read and reread The Game of Life and How to Play It multiple times. And the reason that I wanted to share this with everybody this evening and the reason that I want to get this out there on the internet is because I'm the guy that wouldn't do the proclamations. I'm the guy that left that element out of everything that I was doing, the mechanics, the learning, the meditation, all of that stuff. But I was leaving the proclamations and the incantations out of the picture. I was not speaking it. Did I believe it? Well, thought I did, but I wasn't speaking it, so did I really believe it? Was I, oh, I was doing the meditation, I was doing the visualization, all that was amazing. But speak it, forget it. I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to speak it. Then a friend of mine named Eric Green had a conversation with me one day about speaking it. And I got mad. I got real mad. I got angry. And Eric used to tell me, and I just use this word for those that are sensitive. He says, Rex, he says, you got to get pissed off for success. That's what he told me. And I didn't get it at first when he said that. Like, dude, I've been angry my whole life. I don't want to be angry anymore. I don't want to be mad. But then I got what he was saying. You've got to get to that point where you're just going to do whatever it takes, and it doesn't matter what. You're going to you're going to barrel through walls and knock down barriers and kick down doors, and you're going to go after your dream and do whatever it takes. You're going to burn with a fire and a passion that says, you know what, I'm going to get to 30k per month in the next 90 days I am going to be there whatever it takes and you're gonna write that down on a piece of paper and you're gonna see that coming to take place and you're gonna begin to speak that into your reality and then you're gonna get out of the way and you're gonna surrender and you're just gonna do what it is that you do and you're gonna see miraculous things happen when you take action 
and start studying a lot of this stuff and begin to speak that. Because like I said, I was the guy that wouldn't, and because I wouldn't, I didn't have what I wanted. And when I started speaking that, everything changed. Everything changed. When I began to speak those things that were not as though they are. Because here's the truth. Being spiritual beings, when we ask for something, we have received it. It's a done deal. And at the perfect time for us to receive what we need to receive, it is there. But the reason a lot of people don't receive here or they don't manifest here is because they don't believe. They see the lack. They see a hundred dollar they see a negative hundred dollar balance in their checking account and they see lack. And you might say, Well, holy crap, Rex, who wouldn't? And I get it, I've been there. I remember seeing that, I remember having that sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach. Where's the next money going to come from? What am I going to have to do now to buy groceries this week? You know, how long until payday? How long until the next sale comes in? But you focus so much energy on that, and you see all the negative in that, and you focus on it even more. And what happens is your subconscious, because of the, you're focusing so much energy on that, your subconscious gives you more of it. And then you begin to speak it. You're on the phone with somebody, oh, the bank's overdrawn again, and things are rough and stuff like that. Well, hello, your words have creative power. If I'm sitting here on the phone today telling you things are terrible, guess what? Things are going to continue to be terrible. And this is a big part of the reason why I just enjoy working with my business partner, Michael Howe. Because every time I call this guy... It's amazing. He's awesome. He's having a great day. Things are phenomenal. Life is good. And I'm the same way. You know, and, and the reason that that's the case is because of the fact, ladies and gentlemen, there are people all over the world that are taking action based on this information here. The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shin. For those of you that have got Kindle, go to Amazon Type in um, Florence Scovel Shin, and you'll see that there's a compilation there of all four of her, four of her works for like less than seven bucks, and you can get it on Kindle. That's what I have on here right now. But I mean, as far as personal development books go, I mean, I've never read anything that has had just the I don't know, man. God just gives has a way of giving you the right information at the right time, and it's just it, it's just been amazing to me to 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 have access to this information and just use it and just use it and understand the power of 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 intention with other people too, because one of the things that Florence used to do, people would come to her for help. That Florence, they, they have a certain manifestation that they wanted in their life, and Florence would speak that, and they would both believe on it, and it would come to pass. Well, see, here's the thing. If Florence speaks it, and Florence continues to believe on it, even if the person that she spoke it over doesn't continue to believe on it, it's still going to come to pass. And she demonstrates that all throughout this book, time and time again, where, and, and when her and the person do visualize and agree at the same time, and they do the proper demonstrations, they, they are in agreement in faith. I mean, the miracles that these people were seeing were phenomenal, and they're, they're really not miracles. They're just simply the way things are supposed to be. It's the way we were created. It's what we have inside of us. Last Saturday, here's another example. Last Saturday, my wife and I decided to go to the market. Fort Pierce here, every Saturday we have a farmer's market downtown. There's usually a good crowd of people, but it was hot there last week, and you know we decided to go down there, and you know a lot of people take their dogs, and we thought, well, it'd be a good time for us. You know, we, Tammy wanted to take the dog, and thought, you know, it's gonna, you know, it, it'll be, you know, she, the dog likes the heat, so that won't be a problem. So we'll go down there, and because of the heat, it won't be real busy. It would be a good time to start interacting um, with the dog down there. Well. We were wrong. The dog went down there and completely flipped out. She couldn't handle the crowd. 
So as we're down there rushing through the market, trying to get out of there to 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 take to make sure we could the dog was going to be okay. The dog slipped the collar, and took off back toward, just took off. And Tammy took off after the dog, and I I was actually buying something from one of the vendors, and I finished up the transaction, packed everything up, grabbed all her stuff that she had to leave when she had to drop everything to run after the dog, picked it all up, and I went looking after him. Well, I walked all the way down to the end of the market, and there was nobody there, so I walked back midway, and I walked out to the parking lot, and I didn't see anybody anywhere in there. So I just stopped, and I got calm for a minute, and I just waited. And before I could even ask, where are they, I heard go to the van is clear as you could hear it without actually hearing it audibly go to the van I made a straight shot across the other half of the market for the van and when I got to the road I looked across the street and I saw Tammy and the dog and the lady that had helped Tammy cap or catch the dog standing by the van waiting for me to get there with the keys I didn't have any way to call Tammy because she had left her phone in the van on the charger, so I had no way to call her. I had no way to communicate with her. I know, again, it's one of those things where all people just say, well, that's really, that's a cool story, Rex, but that's just coincidence. That's not real. Well, it, see, here's the thing. It is real. It is real. And more and more people are demonstrating it. We're watching people demonstrate it all the time now. Okay, I'm watching my family demonstrate it. I'm watching, I'm watching, um, Two guys that I think um, have brought the coolest thing ever presented to the internet marketing industry demonstrate this. I'm watching my mentor from Vancouver, Canada, demonstrate this. I've actually, by God's grace, been able to demonstrate this myself. And like I said, and see manifestations that I'm just, I'm just not going to, I don't share with a lot of people because most people wouldn't believe me. But your spoken word has power that most people would probably be afraid of if they ever saw it work. But nonetheless, you have that power. And when you combine that power with your business, you have something that is unlike what most other people are implementing. I've seen Darren Little do it or utilize this in marketing campaigns that he's run parallel with other people who weren't doing it and I have seen his campaign produce results when the other persons didn't and they were using the exact identical copy, the exact identical traffic, side by side split testing quantum physics. One campaign, they spoke nothing over, they let it run. The other one, they spoke all sorts of success over it. The one produced nearly nothing. The other one, well, like I said, Darren's a, Darren's a master at this stuff. Another campaign, boom. And Darren just says quantum physics. Well, quantum physics is speaking your word into reality. Because thoughts become things, and words come from thoughts. And thoughts, I believe, come from God. And is there this thing called quantum physics that we can use to actually evaluate and look at the energy? Well, there's definitely some compelling evidence out there to prove that there is, but regardless, you know, I can go down there and put a multimeter on the battery of my car and see current flowing through, you know, from the battery to the alternator and throughout the engine and back. But we have in our subconscious a watcher and a listener who goes to work on our behalf immediately the moment that we think or speak something. This is true. 
and what we think and what we speak becomes our reality. And if you don't believe me, look at where you're sitting today in the situation that you're in and see if your thoughts are not lining up with where you are. I had a conversation with one of my guys the other morning who called me up, and if he's here, you know, God bless you, dude. You, you know I love you. But you know when people are and you know when people are not working on the personal development side of their home business like they are the mechanical side. And it shows. It shows in frustration. It shows in discouragement. And then when you ask, so, you've been doing your proclamations? No. So, wh what do you want me to say? What do you want me to tell you? I mean, there's a formula right here. Right here. Multiple, multiple resources, full I mean, I've got book after book after book after book after book here. The Complete Works of Florence Scovel Shin, Alchemy of True Success, The Four Agreements, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, The Master Key System by Charles Hunnell, Living an Inspired, Empowered, and Joy-Filled Life, 365 Daily Tips to Get You There by the Possibility Coaches, The Jesus Code by John Randolph Price, A Course in Miracles, The Voice of Knowledge, The Way of a Peaceful Warrior, The Fifth Agreement, The Fiftieth Law, How to Win Friends and Influence People, Seven Victories of the Divine Child, A Book Called Start by John Acuff, Punch Fear in the Face, Escape Average, Do What Matters, fantastic book. I've enjoyed reading that too. The difference is I made a decision to start speaking it and that's when I saw everything change. Speaking it acts of, speaking it is the act of faith that works on spiritual law. Speaking it it's not that because people say, well, they activate spiritual law. The spiritual law is already there. The spiritual law doesn't need to be activated. It's always acted. It's you acting on that law. It's you understanding that, you know, by your words you are justified. Life is in the power of your tongue. Okay? Your word is your wand. It's, it's you knowing that, believing it, and acting on it that produces the result that you're looking for. I'm going to encourage everybody tonight as we dig in to this new era of training in System 90 that's going to focus on automated marketing and, and paid advertising strategies. That you guys take seriously what we've shared with you this evening. That you dig into that book called The Game of Life and how to play it. Like I said, you can get all four of Florence's books on Kindle for seven bucks. If you go to Google and type in the game of life and how to play it, you can get the PDF for free. For those of you that have the System 90 handbook, you can actually access the full audiobook, excuse me, right there. And listen to what Florence teaches and then take action. Speak it. Because it works. And not using it, I mean, imagine, I mean, here, here's, here's how silly it is not to use it, and then we'll wrap up for tonight. Imagine that you were sent out in the middle of a field to dig a hole that was 12 feet wide by 12 feet deep. That's a big hole. You've been sent out there to dig it. And you go out there to dig it and your options for tools are your bare hands or an excavator. 
which are you going to choose to use? You're going to choose the excavator. Okay? Doing the business without speaking your reality into being is like being in the middle of that field and choosing to dig that hole with your hands versus the excavator. And the reason I'm sharing that with you tonight is because I was that guy. I was that guy that was in the middle of the field with an excavator next to me digging the hole with his bare hands. I, I was that guy. But I stopped being that guy the moment I made the decision to take action based on a formula that had been written down times past by multiple people that works when you use it. Don't be the guy in the middle of the open field standing next to the, excav the excavator digging the hole with your bare hands. Don't be that guy. Be the person that jumps in the excavator and uses everything that they have available to them to complete the objective. Use the tools. Your word is your wand full of magic and power, ladies and gentlemen. Use it. God bless you guys. Have a great weekend. We love you guys. You're awesome. We've got some awesome new training coming for you next week. We're going to show you guys how to start automating this stuff and start getting your life and your freedom back. So with that, again, God bless. Have a phenomenal weekend. We will see you next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Until then, your word is your wand. Use it. Bye for now.